Today, guys, we are on a hunt for some awesome sea creatures, not for my giant saltwater pond here, but for my amazing cuttlefish aquarium. The cuttlefish is doing awesome. The big one is swimming around like crazy. I'll explain a little bit more later in the video, but he is doing amazing. We also added our brand new ghost eel in my mini saltwater pond in the last video, and shout out to Tiana for his awesome name, Casper the Friendly Ghost Eel. Also, guys, shout out to Marcos Gomez for the official name of our amazing cuttlefish, Squishy. I shall call him Squishy and he shall be mine. Like the one from Finding Nemo. I couldn't resist it, guys. Squishy the cuttlefish lives in my tank and he is thriving. Now we are going on a hunt today for some small invertebrates or some small fish that we can feed our amazing cuttlefish because boy does he eat and I cannot wait to show you when he does eat. It is absolutely amazing the way he hunts. So comment down below, what is your favorite invertebrate? What is the invertebrate that you think is the coolest? Horseshoe crab, arrow crab, all that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite one and maybe we'll get some for my aquarium. Now let's get into the video and catch us some cool stuff for my cuttlefish. All right guys, we are at the official spot. This is where the tunnel is and the sewer is. Now it's been raining like crazy for the last two days. We had a tropical cyclone come down in South Florida. So it, it just rained for two days straight and it made the water so, so, so dirty. It's like literally the dirtiest water I've ever seen. It's literally black. It used to be clear and it is straight up black. You cannot see into the water at all. This also happens when they open the spillways and let a bunch of fresh water go into the canals and just makes the water super dirty and it's actually really not good for the fish at all. So hopefully it doesn't mess up the ecosystem here and we can catch some really cool stuff in this murky water. Now along the walls of this entire spot is where all these little invertebrates hang out. You can find absolutely anything, shrimps, crabs, all along these walls here, especially the ghost shrimp. That's what we're hunting today is a ton of ghost shrimp for my cuttlefish. So we're gonna try out two different nets today. I got this little mini net to try to get as many shrimp as possible in this guy. And we got this one. This one they might go through. So we're gonna try with this min the mini small net first. This guy's pretty sick. Look how tiny this guy is. It's pretty epic. So we're gonna try this guy first. We're gonna put everything we catch in our glass container here so you guys can see the finished result at the end of this video when we catch all the cool stuff that we can find at this spot. Now also guys, remember the big fish guy launch is tomorrow. Tomorrow, Monday, June 6th. Set your reminders, the fish guys are launching. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. guys, the fish guys are changing the world. Every item sold is gonna be a piece of trash removed from the ocean by the fish guys. We want this brand to go on for a long, long time. We wanna remove thousands of pounds of trash from the ocean. So stay tuned, set your reminders. Tomorrow, big fish guy launch, I cannot wait. Guys, first creature we find, ladybug landed on my glasses here. Oh, it flew away. That's good luck though. That is really good luck. We're gonna find some cool stuff today. It flew right into my face, scared the hell out of me. Okay, I already see a little crab right there hanging along the wall. I gotta jump down to catch him though. There he is, he's in the corner there. Got okay, him. I think I got him, I think I got him. Oh, oh my God, he's got pinchers. Look at the pinchers on this guy. Guys, look at the pinchers on this crab I just caught. Blending in with the algae, perfectly blending in with the wall there. That green crab, oh, he's getting me a little bit there. He's getting me, he's got some serious claws. That's a big one. It's the first invertebrate we find here at this spot. These guys are always all up along the walls, eating all the algae, blending in with the rocks, staying hidden because if a snapper sees this, snapper candy. Now let's put him in our little glass container here. This is our first sea creature going in the glass container. There you go, buddy. I don't know if my cuttlefish will be able to eat him, but you know, maybe if we take the claws off, I'm not too sure. Okay, now I'm gonna go along the wall here because I see a couple shrimp moving along the wall there. And I'm just gonna swipe with this net, see if we can get some. I think those are gonna be the money for the cuttlefish. I think he's gonna really, really enjoy eating the small ghost shrimp. It's just gonna crush them, so let's try it. All right, I see a couple along this wall here. I'm just gonna swipe at them, the mini net. Gotta get low, gotta get low like a fish guy. Here we go. Oh my God, I got a bunch of algae. But I got a bunch of shrimp. I got a bunch of ghost shrimp. Oh my God, that's a big one. That's a big one. This is gonna be money for, for our cuttlefish here. That is fire. This one is fire. Look at this. Look at that guy. Let's try to get all of them out. Oh my God, I, I got like 10. I got like 10 ghost shrimp all in this algae here. Look at that guys. That's four of them. I think there's still, oh, six of them, six of them. Look at all those dudes. That is so cool. Look at that one has eggs. Extra protein for our cuttlefish. Oh, no, you cannot go back in the water, sir. You are lunch for my cuttlefish. Look at those guys. Really, really cool little shrimp. I didn't even know they were hanging up along this wall. Fish guy Jack actually spotted these guys in one of our videos. And they are perfect for feeding our aquariums, especially the cuttlefish, especially Sponge, the anglerfish. He's gonna love these guys. So here we go, guys. We're dropping them in our little critter keeper here. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be lunch. That's gonna be lunch for either Sponge or the cuttlefish. I have some more in this little algae. See all that algae that they're living in? You just scrape the side of that wall and you catch them. So look at that. That's a nice little ghost shrimp there hanging out for our little mini aquarium here. I think Squishy's gonna really like these. I named him Squishy, bro. Squishy the cuttlefish, like from Finding Nemo. He's gonna smoke these. It's gonna be epic thing to watch. All right, let's get back out there 
and see if I can catch, I saw a little baby fish over there. Let's see if I can get him in the net because uh, that'd be cool. That'd be like a little bonus, catching a, a fish instead of an invertebrate. That'd be pretty dope. So I'm going with the bigger net right now because this is what we need to catch the fish. And I see him right by these rocks here, right where that crab was. So let's try to catch him. I gotta get low on this. Oh, he's right by the sewer. He's right by the sewer entrance. Got him, got him on. Got him on, look at this. What is that? Is that a baby wrasse? What is that? Oh my gosh, look at this guy. That is, I don't know what that is, guys. Look at this guy, guys. That is like some sort of blenny. He's got some green and red on him. Look at that fish hanging up in the algae. There's tons of critters at this spot. This is amazing. We got a fish. I did not expect we would catch a fish, but we got one. Look at him, look at him in there, just chilling. He likes to stay down by the rocks, down by all the algae and just hang out, blend in. He's pretty brown, so he evolved to look brown. Check out our possessions so far. We got some ghost shrimp, we got a fish, and we got and we got an algae eating crab right there. This aquarium, this little mini aquarium, is coming along right now. Let's uh let's give this spot like 30 more minutes and see if we can find something else that's cool. This is a money maker. Let's go by the critter keeper. Check this guy out. He was chilling under the trees. I gave this spot a break next to the sewer and he was chilling by, by underneath the tree in the shaded areas, guys. Look at this dude. He has no claws on him. Look at the blue on his back. That's insane, guys. What a cool little invertebrate we got here. Look at that. Look at that. That is nuts, guys. Look how cool this guy is. That is insane. I love that. This is, this is gonna bring a nice little pop of color in our little aquarium here. That is really, really cool. Look at that. Little shrimp, that is awesome. He's got purple claws underneath. I don't know if you can see that. See those purple claws? Oh, you can see in his gills, the water moving in his gills. That's crazy. I don't know if that's like supposed to be there or, or that's how they hold air. That's really, really cool. All right, that's epic. Let's put him in our aquarium. Now check out our aquarium we got going here, guys. This little shrimp right there, that's the money maker right there. We got tons of stuff to show our cuttlefish if he wants to have any of these. I think I'm just gonna throw the ghost shrimp in there, but we caught a bunch of stuff today at this spot. There's some rain clouds coming, so we're gonna send it home. We're gonna throw some of these guys in the cuttlefish aquarium and see if he wants to smoke any. Let's go back to the house. Now guys, we are at the Cuttlefish Aquarium. I am so excited to feed some ghost shrimp to this guy. You guys are gonna love how he eats. But the smaller cuttlefish guys, he did not make it. The big one is thriving, but the smaller one did not make it. It was the weirdest thing. Right when we put him in the tank, these things are really, really fragile and they get really, really stressed out instantly. Right when we put him in the tank, like three minutes later, he just went completely ghost white. Was so stressed out from the transfer that he didn't make it. Thankfully, we got the big one as well, who was absolutely doing amazing in this tank. Now I know cuttlefish are extremely fragile and they only have a maximum lifespan of like two years. And this one's already pretty much full grown. So we're gonna have to enjoy this guy as much as we can because they do not live as long as I thought. They live pretty short lives. So we're gonna have to enjoy him every second that we can. So we got Squishy in here who's thriving. Thank God, so happy that he's doing well. Let's feed him some ghost shrimp. Now I have about five ghost shrimp in this net here. As you can see, I'm just gonna drop them in just like that. Now I'm probably gonna have to turn the light down a little bit. He does like to hide in the rocks, right behind the rocks. Let's turn this light down, just sit here with the camera, wait for him to come out so he can eat. It is the coolest thing you'll ever see. Let's wait for him to come out. Now guys, look at how cool this cuttlefish is. Stalking his prey with his little two tentacles on the bottom, he turns them into like feet and walks around. Look at a tongue that comes out of him. It's actually a feeding arm that comes out. I put it in slow motion there for you guys. That is how he hunts and eats. He uses that little tongue, let's call it, and tries to snatch up the shrimp and he walks on these two tentacles. It literally looks like he's walking towards his prey. It is the coolest thing ever. He was trying to hunt a lot of the bigger shrimp and he was just not quick enough. These guys were just scurrying away. He was trying to use that tongue to snatch him out of the air. Look at him stalking that shrimp going up in the water column to eat it. That is some of the coolest feedings I've ever seen. Look how bright and amazing and crazy looking this cuttlefish is. He is gorgeous. He is an alien, guys. But he found this dead one along the bottom that wasn't moving. It was half alive, you can still it's alive, and he finds it right there and, and just smokes it. Just puts it right in his mouth and eats it. He got it. He got it, oh my God, that's so sick. That's, oh, that's so epic, that's so epic. I'm such a fish guy. Dude, that is so sick. He just crushed that shrimp. I knew he was gonna get that one because it wasn't moving, that's so good. Oh my God, that's epic, dude. Did he just swallow that and he's back on the hunt? Wow, that is insane. That is so cool, guys. He's crushing it up. I don't know if you can see the whiskers of the shrimp right there, right in his mouth. He's crushing that shrimp up, eating him for dinner. I love this guy. Guys, that's gonna do it today. As you can see, the cuttlefish is doing amazing. He's eating like a champ. Now I mentioned earlier, you have to really enjoy 
enjoy these guys because they do not have a long lifespan. They only live up to a maximum of two years is what I've researched. And this guy that I have is already pretty much full grown. So as long as we have him, we're gonna enjoy him. So Squishy the Cuttlefish, you're doing awesome, my guy. Remember to comment below your favorite invertebrate. And don't forget the Fish Guy Shop's big launch is tomorrow, guys. I'll see you there. Hope you guys enjoy it. See you in the next one. Peace.